Hello, YouTube Pipe community. How's it going today? I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. Seven things I want to address today. Seven things. Ah. Number one, as you may have heard, I'm going to be on the Pipes Magazine radio show. This Tuesday night is when it will be airing live. So this Tuesday, if you want to check it out on their website, you can check it out any day after this Tuesday, which would be April 6th, I think is Wednesday. Uh, you can check it out on iTunes or on their website. They have a, a download. Two through six are the five tobaccos that I have tried this year. Number one, and the worst tobacco of all time, Paladin Cherry, a truly disgusting, horrid, tongue-burning blend. Do not smoke it, and if you like it, improve your palate. Number two, Amphora Original, just recently re-released in the States. I like that blend quite a bit. Uh, smoky, very full, grassy flavors, um, good on the nicotine content, uh, and there are hints of cocoa in it. Number three, and another must-buy in my opinion, Lane Letty... Lane Ready Rubbed. Get it. I have just gotten two tubs myself. A nice, crisp, smooth, all-day burly blend. Number four, Samuel Gowith's Fire Dance Flake. Awful. Horrible. As Dion Powell, Classical Pipes, put it, a true hot mess. And I agree. It looks beautiful. It smells weird. And it tastes like the second worst tobacco ever made. Paladin is that bad. Number six uh, and number five as far as the tobacco goes, issue number six, number five as far as the tobacco, Ho uh, Hogarth, come on, come on Tom, come on, right? Go with and Hogarth sliced brown twist. This is a solid, good tobacco. I'll probably smoke the rest that I got, not buy any more, but would suggest that you get an ounce or two for yourself to give it a sample. Very full body, grassy, there's this tangy, earthy hit, um, eat before you smoke it. And number seven, number seven, Boston Briar. You guys want to know what? This is an L.J. Peretti freehand made at L.J. Peretti. This right here is a Boston 